Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera. Okay, so dalam video ni kita nak masuk ke chapter 4, part 7 which is solving linear differential equation using Laplace transform. Okay, so basically in the previous video kita dah learn on the Laplace transform, kita dah juga belajar tentang inverse Laplace transform. So kita akan uh, implementkan kedua-dua transform tersebut in order to solve the linear differential equation. Okay, and then one more thing to add up. Kalau you still remember dalam chapter 1, chapter 2 dan chapter 3, kita dah belajar macam mana solve the linear differential equation menggunakan beberapa method, right? But bear in mind, kita juga boleh solve the linear differential equation menggunakan Laplace transform. However, um, hanya untuk case yang mana you ada initial condition sahaja, you boleh pakai Laplace transform. Okay, kalau initial condition tak ada, so you kena pakai Teknik yang kita belajar dalam chapter 1, chapter 2 dan chapter 3. Okay. So now let's have a look on the step by step on how to solve the linear differential equation using Laplace transform. Okay. So step number 1. First of all, we need to transform the given DE into the algebra equation in term of Ys by finding the Laplace transform for both sides of the differential equation. And then after we find uh, the equation in term of Ys, step number 2, we need to consider the initial conditions given. And then after that, we go to step number 3, we need to write the equation in the form of Ys is the only subject formula, meaning that you need to find Ys is equal to y. Alright. And then finally, we need to find the solution of Yt by evaluating the inverse Laplace transform of Ys. Okay. Next, kita terus pergi kepada contoh on how to solve the DE using Laplace transform. Okay, so the, uh, for the question here, by using the Laplace transform, solve the following differential equation. Okay, so in this case, the DE given is y prime t plus y t is equal to 3 and then the initial condition is y0 is equal to 0. Okay, so step number 1. You need to transform the DE into the algebra equation in Y by finding the Laplace transform for both sides of the DE. So from here, we just need to find the Laplace transform for Y prime T plus Laplace transform for Y T plus Laplace transform for 3. Okay. And then after that, you can refer to the table of Laplace transform. So you know that for Laplace transform for Y T is equal to Y S. Okay, you have ys here and then Laplace transform for y prime t is equal to s y s minus y0 and then Laplace transform for 3 is equal to 3 over s okay so you have 3 over s and then after that we go to step number 2 we need to consider the initial conditions given okay so from here you know y0 is equal to 0 so that's why you have s y s minus 0 plus y s equal to 3 over s and then we can rearrange it so that we have we factor the ys to the outside, we have s plus 1 multiply with ys equal to 3 over s. Okay, so step number 3, we need to rewrite this equation so that you have ys is the only subject of the formula. So, from here, ys is equal to 3 over s multiply with s plus 1. Okay, so the final step, we need to find the solution of yt by evaluating the inverse Laplace transform of ys. Okay, so the inverse Laplace transform for ys is given by inverse Laplace transform of 3 over s multiply with s plus 1. Okay, so you tengok dekat sini. You punya function ni adalah dalam bentuk fs bahagi s. Okay, so that's why you boleh applykan theorem of transform of integral. Okay, so in this case, this is your fs. So, Fs is equal to 3 over S plus 1. So, inverse Laplace transform untuk Fs ni adalah 3 inverse Laplace transform 1 per S tambah 1. And then, you refer from here. In this case, your A is equal to negative 1. So, that's why you have Ft is equal to 3 exponent negative T. Okay. Next, bila kita dah dapat Ft ni, kita boleh gantikan ke dalam formula ini. Okay. So, untuk dapatkan inverse Laplace transform of function Fs over S, so you need to integrate the ft okay integrate 3 exponent negative t so you integrate you akan dapat negative 3 exponent negative t and then after that we need to substitute the value of 0 until t so you ganti kat dalam ni you dapat negative exponent negative t minus minus so it become plus exponent 0 and then exponent 0 is equal to 1 so finally the answer is 3 multiply with 1 minus exponent negative t okay so Finally, yt for the given de is equal to 3 multiply with 1 over exponent negative t. Okay. Okay, now kita pergi kepada contoh yang kedua. 
the question is by using the Laplace transform solve the following differential equation okay so the DE given is y double prime minus y prime is equal to e t cos t and then the initial condition is y0 is equal to 0 and y prime 0 is equal to 0 okay so step number one you need to transform this de become algebra equation in ys so how to do that you need to do the laplace transform for uh, both sides okay so laplace transform for y double prime t minus laplace transform for y prime t equal to laplace transform of e t cos t and then we just refer to the table of Laplace transform. So we know that Laplace transform for y double prime t is equal to s squared y s minus s y zero minus y prime zero. Okay. So for Laplace transform of y prime t is equal to minus s y s minus minus. So you got plus y zero equal to Laplace transform of e t cos t. Okay. So how to solve uh, Laplace transform for e t cos t? We can apply the first shift theorem. Where, if you have a function of ft multiplied with exponent a t, you can assume um, your fs is shifted by a. Okay, so from here, ft is equal to cos t. So, we just find the fs. fs is equal to s over s squared plus 1. Okay, so here is your fs. You need to find your fs minus a. So, a is, a is 1. So, that's why you have from here, you have s minus 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1 okay and then after that we need to consider the initial conditions given so from the question y0 is equal to 0 so y prime 0 is equal to 0 so here 0 here 0 here also 0 so finally you have s squared ys minus sys equal to s minus 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1 okay and then we can rearrange this side so that you have a y, you factor the y s to the outside. So you have y s multiply with s multiply with s minus one, and then uh, for the denominator, you can re, you can expand the equation so that you have s squared minus two s plus two. Okay. So we go for step number three. You need to write your equation in the form of y s is the only subject of formula. So you need to find y s is equal to y. So uh, this side you bring to the other side so that you have this. And then you can cancel s minus 1 and s minus 1. So finally, you have 1 over s multiplied with s squared minus 2s plus 2. Okay. So the final step is we need to find the solution of yt by evaluating the inverse Laplace transform of ys. Okay. So from the previous slide, okay, the ys is given by this. Okay. If you have a look at the ys, the function of s is not very straightforward, so you can't get the inverse Laplace transform by referring to the table of Laplace transform itself. So that's why you need to fixing out the function of s using the partial fraction form first. Okay, so from here we rewrite in the partial fraction form so that we have uh, a over s plus b s plus c over s squared minus 2 s plus 2 okay and then after that we bring the denominator to this side so we have 1 is equal to a multiply with s squared minus 2 s plus 2 plus b s plus c multiply with s okay and then after that we need to find the value of a b and c so how to do that we just assume the value of s one by one so first of all we assume s is equal to 0 so we substitute here so you get 1 is equal to a multiply with 2, right? So, A is equal to 0 0.5. And then next, assume S is equal to 1. So, when S is equal to 1, so 1 is equal to, so 1 minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 1. So, here also 1, here also 1. So, that's why you have 1 is equal to A plus B plus C. So, we rearrange it so that we have B is equal to 0 0.5 minus C. Okay, because we know A is 0 0.5. And then, assume S is equal to 2. Okay, here, you substitute the value of S equal to 2. So, you have 1 is equal to 2A plus 4B plus 2C. And then, we just uh, substitute the value of A and B. So, we have, we rearrange it so that we have C is equal to 1. And then, once we have C is equal to 1, we substitute here. So, B is equal to 0 0.5 minus 1. So, B is equal to negative 0 0.5. Okay, once we have the value of A, B and C, you can substitute back into here. So, the Laplace transform of d function can also be write as a Laplace transform of 0 0.5 over s plus inverse Laplace transform of negative 0 0.5 s plus 
1 over s squared minus 2s plus 2. Okay. So, once kita dah siap uh, fixing up this function menggunakan partial fraction method, so kita boleh rewrite the inverse Laplace transform in term of this. Okay. So, from here, you can solve it straight away by referring to the table of Laplace transform. Here, you ada 1 per s. Okay. Dekat sini, you ada k per s. So, a is equal to 1. So, ft is equal to 1. So, hasilnya kat sini adalah 0.5. Okay. Untuk yang ini pula, um, dia punya function s is not straightforward. So, you can't solve it using the table of Laplace transform. So, what to do? We need to simplify it. We need to fixing it up first by using the completing the square. Okay. So, daripada sini, kita rewrite balik persamaan. S kuasa 2 tolak 2S. Kita biarkan kosong. Tambahkan dengan 2, biarkan kosong. Okay. And then from here, negative 2 bahagikan dengan 2. You dapat negatif 1. Jadi, kita buat tambah negatif 1 squared tolak negatif 1 squared. Okay. And then from this, kita boleh tulis balik S tolak 1 kuasa 2 tambahkan dengan 2 tolak 1, you dapat 1. Okay, so finally, you boleh rewrite persamaan ini kepada ini. Okay. And then, kita nak cari inverse Laplace transform untuk function negative 0.5s tambah 1 bahagi s tolak 1 kuasa 2 tambah 1. Okay, you tengok dekat sini, you ada s tolak 1. Tapi dekat sini, you ada s. So, you kena make sure yang atas pun ada s tolak 1. Okay, so how to do that? Kita jadikan negative 0.5 multiply dengan s tolak 1 tambah 1 tolakkan dengan 0.5 ok sebab nanti kalau you cancel balik you dapat balik persamaan ini ok so once you dah dapat s tolak 1 so sini pun ada s tolak 1 kita boleh apply first shift theorem of the inverse Laplace transform ok so yang mana bila dia ada s tolak 1 kita kata dia punya frekuensi shifted by 1 ok so kita refer ke sini bila ada kes yang s tolak 1 so kita punya um, exponent adalah dalam bentuk eksponen t Okay, so you dapat simplify it. Exponent t, inverse Laplace, negative 0.5s tambah 0.5 over s squared plus 1. Okay, so dekat sini instead of s tolak 1, dia dah jadi tinggal s sahaja. Okay, from here, kita applykan linearity theorem pula. Kita split kepada dua, negative 0.5s and then sebelah sini kita split kepada 0.5. Okay, once kita dah split, kita boleh Inverse Laplace transform, cari inverse Laplace transform untuk S per S kuasa 2 tambah 1 dan juga 1 per S kuasa 2 tambah 1. Okay, untuk kes ini kita refer kepada sini. So, you ada S kuasa 2 tambah A kuasa 2. So, uh, in this case A adalah 1. Jadi, ini adalah cos T. Okay, so finally jawapan you adalah 0.5 tolak 0.5 eksponen T cos T. Okay, untuk kes 1 bahagi S kuasa 2 tambah 1. So, kita refer kepada ini. So, in this case, dia adalah sin t. Jadi, jawapan dia 0.5 eksponen t sin t. Alright. So, finally, yt for the given de is equal to this equation. Alright. So, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.